Today we're going to take a look at the Nemocine Neutrino fountain pen. Um, it comes in this very simple box here, which I appreciate because I'm not one to save boxes, and when I do, um, they tend to take up a lot of space. So it's marked fission, even though it's not, uh, but it is um, a 1.1 millimeter nib, which I will show you in a minute. It came with these instructions here, so how to ink it, very simple instructions, and um, also the three-year guarantee that if there's any flow issues, you just send them five bucks and they'll go ahead and take care of it for you. So I thought that was a good deal. I thought it was interesting that it said that the nib is actually made in Germany, pen body is made in Taiwan, inspected and packaged in the USA, and actually signed off by a real human being um, about what, what the nib size is, which is correct, this sticker is incorrect. So, um, comes with, um, sorry, try not to dump those on the floor, comes with um, just your standard uh, twist converter here, a little ball inside to mix up the ink. Um, and also you've got uh, quite a few cartridges. These are these appear to be just standard international short cartridges. Um, I know that I used a Quaco because I had some Quaco turquoise blue cartridges laying around. So I used that in one of the other um, Nemocine fountain pens that I have. I think that's how you say it. So anyway, this is what the Neutrino fountain pen looks like. I think it's um, really pretty. It has a great feel in terms of weight. It's just a really nice pen. Um, nice, elegant, and simple pen clip that's functional, if not a little stiff. I don't know that I would want to put that in a pocket. It's quite a bit stiff. Um, Nemocene or Nemocene is engraved into the um, cap band, and then it has kind of a wide um, grooved uh, band on the body as well. Tapered on both ends, sort of cigar shaped. And when we take it off, it does look like it posts, but, you know, fair warning to those of you that are posters, it wiggles off constantly. I lost this in the couch, I don't know how many times, it was very frustrating. At one point I had to have my 11 year old dig into the cushion to get it out um, because it fell so far in there. <laughs> because it's just not securely posted, there's nothing really to, for it to bite onto. So you can set it there by the weight of gravity, uh, but it is definitely not going to stay put. Even now it, it rattles around. So, um, on the good note. This is, like I said, the 1.1 millimeter um, nib, so you can see it's kind of stubby and um, a little bit short there. A little bit of an undersized nib for the size of the body, but nothing, um, nothing to be ashamed of. It's still a, a nice pen. When you take it out, you'll see that I put the standard international short cartridge that it came with into the pen. So right now we're going to go ahead and do a writing sample, and I'm going to leave it unposted because I've lost so many, um, so many, <laughs> this cap so many times, sorry, can't think. So let me go ahead and do a writing sample for you. Oop, a little skip in there. seen some major skippage. Okay, so um, you can see here from the writing sample, I did have some issues with railroading. Um, when it's under pressure, it railroads. If you're a light hand in terms of um, your pen to the page, then you might not feel this as often as I do. I'm a pretty heavy-handed writer. You can see here where the tines just spread apart and leave um, tracks, railroad tracks. 
Um, it has every once in a while an occasional skip, which is annoying, um, like you can see when I wrote didn't and a couple of other things, but gosh, I wish it didn't because it's such a beautiful writer. This nib cut is so smooth when it does write. It just, like you saw here, has some issues with skipping every once in a while. So this could be a bum pen, um, you know, like it may not speak for the entire model of pens. It may just be the one that I got. But either way, I wanted to give you a review of what I received from this uh, company, Nemocene or Nemocine, don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, I love the pen, love the nib. If it was just um, not so prone to railroading or skipping, it would be one of my favorites ever. So hopefully I just got a bum model. Anyway, you can check out um, a lot more detail on this specific pen, the Neutrino, on my website, bestfountainpen.com. Thanks for watching.